He's like a hundred years old. He's got massive nostrils. Flipping gross. <laughs> Teenagers are so disgusting. What the hell is that? It looks like tar. Wait, what did the naked lady say? <laughs> Boring. It would have been better if it was a head. Is he talking about his bum cheeks? This is The Breakfast Club and it's movie number two out of three for the director's cut poll. And if you're wondering what the director's cut poll is, then same, because I don't know either. Yes, I do, I'm lying. I made up, so I do know what it is. It is a new poll over on Patreon where patrons get to decide which director I react to. We pick three movies and then I can figure out what different techniques every director does. And I don't really know because I don't know movies. I am just learning about movies now. So maybe I will pick up on things, maybe I won't. I probably will because you all know I am a genius. So it's something that I can know. So we started with National Lampoon's Vacation, but I think John Hughes only wrote that one. This time he actually directed it, which is a very good start. Well, I think he did. Also, I'm like, 87 and a half percent sure that this is the movie that they speak about in Pitch Perfect and if it is then it's got a really good soundtrack and it's got that song in it. What the hell is the song again? Don't you forget about me. That song and I like that song so when you hear it and you don't want to hear me singing then you'll have to cover your ears. If that song is in it and I'm 92.3% sure. It's gone up because I'm more sure now that I think about it. Um, you have to subscribe, comment, post notification, <laughs> comment. I said comment already. Like, Patreon, you know. The Breakfast Club, directed by John Hughes, and play. Ha! Ha! I was right. Hey, oh, baby. Don't you? Forget about me. Wait, what did David Bowie say? Saturday, March 24th. I thought someone shot it. I thought they were starting off with a shooting. Dear Mr. Vernon. Hey, 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 hey. What we did was wrong. <laughs> we don't have lockers here. We just have to carry all our stuff. That's the way we saw each other at 7 o'clock this morning. We were brainwashed. What does a fag mean? Because it means something completely different here, I'm sure. A fag is a cigarette. No, well, we're not supposed to study. We just have to sit there and do nothing. Well, mister, you figure out a way to study. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a s detention on a Saturday. I know school is going to give a scholarship to a discipline case. What did they do? I think they all did something. He's the cool guy. They were all in on something. They all did the same thing together and we're away to find out what it was. That's what the whole movie's about. Okay, he's the cool guy and he's the don't mess with me guy. I don't think I belong in here. It is now. He doesn't care. <laughs> Detention starts now. I have exactly eight hours and 54 minutes to think about why you're here. Eight hours. Of He's not a student. He's like a hundred years old. We are going to write an essay. And when I say essay, I mean essay. He looks about 40. <laughs> There's no way he's a pupil in the school. <laughs> he's undercover for something. Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? I'll give you the answer to that question, Mr. Bender, next Saturday. Oh. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. Another eight hours. Jesus. Who are you? Who are you? A thousand words to describe who you think you are. No one can do that, especially not at that age. <laughs> He's a class clown. What are we supposed to do if we have to take a piss? Hey, you're not urinating in here, man. Don't talk, don't talk. It makes it crawl back up. Makes it crawl back up. You're pretty sexy when you get angry. <laughs> he said, I don't give a fuck about anything, guy. But face. Well, hey, Sporto, what'd you do to get in here? Oh, yeah, I want to know that. Because you live in here doesn't give you the right to be a pain in the ass, so knock it off. No, tell everyone what you did. It's a free country. It's 
just doing it to get a rise out of you. Oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sporto. Do you slip her the hot beef injection? Go to hell! Enough! <laughs> hot beef injection? Ugh. That sounds disgusting. I had beef olives for my supper last night, and that's all I could think of. A beef olive getting in <laughs> Injected. <laughs> you Richies are still smart. That's exactly why I'm not heavy in activities. You're a big coward. I don't think he is. You don't belong, so you just have to dump all over it. Well. He's got massive nostrils. What are you babbling about? Well, what I had said was I'm in the math club, uh, the Latin club, and the physics club. He's my kind of guy. The geek. So academic clubs aren't the same as other kinds of clubs. But the dorks like him, they are. What do you guys do in your club? In physics, we, we, uh... We do physics. <laughs> I can't believe I've got eight hours of this. Missing a whole wrestling mate. Well, you wouldn't know anything about it, faggot. You've never competed in your whole life. Oh, is that what fag is short for? You don't have any goals. I want to be just like you. For all I need a lobotomy and some tights. You're being a proper ass. You wear tights? No, I don't wear tights. I wear the required uniform. Tights. Shut up. <laughs> is it really tights for wrestling? <laughs> I suppose it would be, like, leggings. It's not supposed to be any uh, monkey business. Young man, have you finished your paper? He's so annoying. I wouldn't have put up with him. I would just ignore him if it was me. I'd go clipe. That's school property there. I mean, that's, you know, that's a block. Why is that door closed? Why? Tell him. We're just sitting here, like we're supposed to. Is everyone scared of Bender? Who? <laughs> she doesn't talk, sir. What at all? The door's way too heavy, sir. <laughs> Do you not have one of those doorstop things that slides underneath? It's like a wedge. Okay, watch, watch the magazine. I don't think that's gonna work either. That leg's falling off. But what if there's a fire? All right. What are you doing with this? What are you doing with it? Get this out of here for God's sake. He knows what he's talking about. Well, you know the school comes equipped with fire exits at either end of the library. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that boy. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody, but... Eat my shorts. What was that? Eat my shorts, he said. Eat my shorts. You just bought yourself another Saturday. Crushed. You just bought one more. You're gonna have to come in every Saturday. You through? Not even close, but Good! You got one more right there. How many has it got now? Now it's eight. You stay out of it. Excuse me, sir, it's seven. Shut up, Pee-wee. <laughs> You're mine, Bender. For two months, I got you. Two months? You want to spend a little more time trying to do something with yourself and a little less time trying to impress people. That is what he's trying to do. He's trying to impress everyone. I know the type. The next time I have to come in here, I'm cracking skulls. You wouldn't be allowed to say that nowadays. Do you know, I once had detention and I forgot to bring my pencil case, so I asked for a pencil or a pen and I got another day's detention. It's hard life, is it? <laughs> what a shame for guys having to deal with that. Gross. <laughs> disgusting people. Teenagers are so disgusting. Who has to go to the laboratory? How long's it been? Wait, I can't really tell the time when it comes to these things. That's... That's... What time did they get there? Seven? It's been like three hours? Mole really pumps my nads. Oh, yeah. And what's going on with them two? She fancy him now. You like your old man better than your mom? It's like they use me just to get back at each other. Sounds ah! about right. Oh, she speaks. Shut up. She made a noise. You know something, man? If we weren't in school right now, I'd waste you. Oh, wait, wait, have scrap. Can you hear this? Do you want me to turn it up? Fellas, let me... I wouldn't fight him. Dora, you are a parent's wet Dork. dream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know I would love him as a son. Yeah, well, he's got a name. What's your name? Brian. Brian. See? My condolences. Brian. Oh, little baby Brian. What's yours? Claire. Claire? Claire. It's a family name. Oh, it's a fat girl's name. Oh. <laughs> What's your name? Are you a virgin? Yes. 
You all are. You ever kissed a boy on the mouth? No. <gasps> she hasn't. Over the panties. No bra. Well, some button. Leave her alone. He's being a bit of a dick. I said leave her alone. You gonna make me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he can. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh. 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 Oh, he can. I don't want to get into this with you, man. Remember, he's a wrestler. Knows what he's doing. Because I'd kill you. It's real simple. Oh, I don't know. I'd kill you, and your fucking parents would sue me, and it'd be a big mess, and I don't care enough about What's he got on his boot? Chicken shit. <gasps> oh. Oh. You don't talk to her. You don't look at her. And you don't even think about her. You understand me? Oh, he's going to think about her. <sighs> oh, the fun. I looked through your letters, looked through your lockers. I listened to your conversations. You don't know that, but I... It's a little bit creepy. By the way, that clock's 20 minutes fast. Oh, he's going to befriend him. Oh, that looks fun. <laughs> oh, she's joining in. She's joining in. Will milk be made available to us? I have a really low tolerance for dehydration. I've seen her dehydrate, sir. It's pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I was born yesterday. I think I'm gonna have you roaming these halls. Roaming. That's exactly what we would do. What's your poison? What do you drink? Okay, forget I asked. Vodka. Vodka? She's the kind of kid that turns into a murderer. I had a murderer in my school. Why are you here? Why are you here? Because my coach and my father don't want me to blow my ride. Yeah, but what did you do to get detention? It's very interesting. Now, why don't you tell me why you're really in here? I want to know what she did. Bet she tried to kill someone. You want to see a picture of a guy with elephantitis of the nuts? It's pretty tasty. Yeah. How do you think he rides a bike? Let's him hang over the side of the seat. Although you probably have to ride in the back seat because his nuts would ride shotgun. <laughs> what? They're that big. <laughs> Let me see a picture. When have you ever gotten laid? I've laid lots of times. I've laid. <laughs> He's maybe the only one that's not a virgin. Yeah, but it was only... It was only because I didn't want to know I was a virgin, okay? Oh. Because it's personal business. It's my personal private business. Nothing wrong with being a virgin. I think it's okay for a guy to be a virgin. Exactly. We don't care. <laughs> we really don't care. Where's your lunch? You're wearing it. You're wearing it? What? Oh, has he got no lunch? She's got sushi. <gasps> What's that? Yum. Sushi. It's delicious. He's got no lunch. What the hell? Is that everything you've got to eat? <laughs> it's all the protein he needs. He's got sandwiches. Oh, they look amazing. Ugh. Ugh, what the hell was that? Yeah, hers doesn't look as good. Is she making a sugar sandwich? Because we have those here. Or is it not sugar? What an absolute crazy child. She's not even got the same two slices of bread. What are we having? What are we having? Do you not have parents that can make your lunch for you? This is a very nutritious lunch. All the food groups are represented. Did your mom marry Mr. Rogers? Who's Mr. Rogers? Here's my impression of life at Big Bry's house. How was your day, pal? I don't think he's got great parents. I think he must have the worst parents because that's why he's making fun of people that have all right parents. Oh! <coughs> what a shame. What about your family? Mine? Yeah. Big mouth, know it all, asshole. No! Is that for real? Yeah, it definitely is. It's all part of your image. I don't believe a word of it. Hundred percent. That's what his life is. No. Did I stutter? Did I stutter? I believe this. What is it? What is that? It's about the size of a cigar. Do I stutter? Oh. This is what you get in my house when you spill paint in the garage. Oh, that's awful. That's why he's okay with having detention every Saturday. <laughs> it's 
Someone give him some food. He's hungry. Oh, I wish I had a sandwich right now. What the hell is that? It looks like tar. Oh, shit. Coffee. Coffee? I thought I had my coffee strong. That was like black paint. Huh? I would to know what you all did to get there because she's almost said that, especially you, what did you do? Whoa. Was that your locker? It's drugs. Yeah. Screw that vendor, put it back. <laughs> she wants some. Do you approve of this? Do you approve of this? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. It's your fault, asshole. What do you say? Look at all their different shoes. You can tell who they are just by their shoes. Run! See dancing. <laughs> I'm seeing the similarities between this and Ferris Bueller. Now we're through listening to you. We're going this way. You already won, mother. They're gonna get caught. Uh oh. Shit. Now what? We're dead. No, just me. That's so He doesn't care how many days of detention he gets. He'd rather not be at home. <laughs> Her teacher doesn't know where to go. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, he's found you. Where, where did you get a trainer from? You've got a duty of care to that child. You need to figure out why he's so messed up. The false alarm you pulled Friday. False alarms are really funny, aren't they? What if you're home? What if your family... Oh, is that what you did? What if your dope was on fire? It's in Johnson's underwear. <sighs> He's funny. You think this is cute? You think he's bitching? Is that it? I love it, Liz. You want to see something funny? You go visit John Bender in five years. You'll see how goddamn funny he is. He'll be in prison if he doesn't sort himself out. For better hallway vision. Hallway vision? <laughs> what a total ass, but I love it. That's the last time you ever make me look bad in front of those kids. Do you hear me? And I'm going to kick the living shit out of you, man. I'm going to knock your dick in the dirt. Is that his dad? You threatening me? Is that his dad? You think anybody's gonna believe you? Take the first shot. Please, I'm begging you, take a shot, right? Either that's his dad or this has gotten really weird. That's all I need, just one swing. I know men like you. That's what I thought. You're a gutless turd. They do that to women too. They wind women up to get them, hit them first so that they can hit them back. Ah, sneaky bender. Naked lady says. Oh, shit! Christ almighty. Wait, what did the naked lady say? <laughs> Forgot my pencil. <laughs> what did the naked lady say? What is that? What is that noise? He's, what noise? <laughs> His legs is that. <laughs> 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 that was not the noise I was talking. Now, I may not have caught you in the act this time. Oh my god. This movie's brilliant. How do people do that? How? Oh, I see. I get it. Okay. I thought it was toilet roll. So, Ahab, kipe on my doobage? Oh, you still have it. I thought you'd have got rid of it by now. You're not going to blaze up in here. I think he might. I think he's going to. <laughs> she likes him now. Everyone else going? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I thought you'd have been the first one to go. <coughs> How long does it take to work? I've never done it before. Is it quick? Is it instant? Oh god, it's had the opposite effect on him. <laughs> you 
You maybe had too much. Good afternoon, Dick. <laughs> hey, Carl. How you doing? Oh, I hope that janitor beats you up. Confidential files. Huh? What are you gonna do for me, man? What, what, what would you like? 50 bucks. I want you to beat him up. I was hoping that you heard the conversation between him and Bender. And this is the worst fake ID I've ever seen. <laughs> You've got a fake ID. You made yourself 68. I oh, know, I know. Goofed it. What do you need a fake ID for? So I can vote. What are you hiding? What's she hiding? You want to see what's in my bag? Yeah. It's probably a head. Boring. It would have been better if it was a head. Are you going to be like a shopping bag lady? Yeah. Crazy cat lady. In alleyways and like talk to buildings. Definitely. Saying you'd subject yourself to the violent dangers of these Chicago streets because your home life is unsatisfying. Are we in Chicago again? <laughs> again? Go to Israel, Africa, Afghanistan. <laughs> She's nuts. And you're carrying all that crap around in your purse. Either you really want to run away or you want people to think you want to run away. Eat shit. Or she already has and she's not living at home anymore. Maybe she lives on the streets. That's why her eyes look like she hasn't slept in days. You wanna talk? No. Go away. Does weed make everyone want, want to talk to each other? You do everything everybody ever tells you to do. But I didn't dump my purse out on the couch and invite people into my problem. Oh yeah, yeah, you did do that actually. Nobody asked to see what was in your bag. Apart from me, I wanted to see the head. So what's wrong? Is it bad? Parents? How bad is it? Really bad? Yeah. SA bad? I think that's what it is. Yeah, I bet she's living on the streets. What did they do to you? They ignore me. Oh, they ignore you? They ignore her? These kids get more and more arrogant. Come on, Vern. The kids haven't changed. You have. These kids turned on me. I wonder why. You think I give one rat's ass what these kids think of me? Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Yeah, I agree. That when I get older, these kids are gonna take care of me. I wouldn't count on it. They won't. They'll remember you. Would you drive to school naked? <laughs> For how much? For a million? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'll do anything sexual. I don't need a million dollars to do it. <laughs> You're lying. I've done just about everything there is, except a few things that are illegal. I'm a nymphomaniac. Ooh, yeah, I kind of guessed that. Your parents are aware of this? The only person I told was my shrink. What did he do when you told him? Wait, do you get Nailed paid? Me. Or do you... What? What? I don't think that from a legal standpoint, what he did can be construed as rape since I paid him. Oh, you paid him? Do you have any idea how completely gross that is? Yeah, it is pretty gross. You mean he did it more than once? Sure. Are you crazy? She's crazy if she's paying people to. Have you ever done it with a normal person? With a normal person? Wait, didn't we already cover this? You never answered the question. Yeah, you didn't. Well, if you say you haven't, you're approved. You say you have, then you're, you're a slut. slut. Yeah. Always been the same. I'd rather you to sleep around without being in love. I mean, don't you want any respect? I don't screw to get respect. She does it for fun. <laughs> Medically frigid or is it psychological? I didn't mean it that way. You guys are putting words into my mouth. Leave her alone. It's just sex. It's not a big deal. Only one question. No! I never did it! <laughs> I never did it either. I'm not a nymphomaniac. I totally believed her story. You guys know what uh, what I did to get in here? What would you tell? Taped Larry Lester's buns together. <laughs> that was you? Taped his what together? Well, when they pulled the tape off, most of his hair came off and some, some skin too. <sighs> is he talking about his bum cheeks? The bizarre thing is, I did it for my old man. He's always going off about, you know, when he was in school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I jumped on top of him and, and started wailing on him. And my friends, they just laughed and cheered me on. What a shame. Poor Haiti boy. All I could think about was Larry's father and Larry having to go home and explain what happened to him. Oh, yeah, imagine that. Imagine having to go home and say to your parents what happened. I mean, how do you, how do you apologize for something like that? It's a parent's worst nightmare, your child being bullied. Can't even relate to anymore. He's making everyone cry. You know, How old are all these people? Because none of them looks kid. like they should be in high school. Apart from him. <laughs> he looks young enough. I step outside myself, kind of, and, and like when I look in at myself, you know, I don't like what I see. Aww. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Why don't you like yourself? Sounds stupid, but... I like you. Because I'm failing shop. What shop? You've seen some of the dopes that taste shop. I take <laughs> shop. <laughs> 
What do you know about trigonometry? I could care less about trigonometry. Did you know without trigonometry, there'd be no engineering? Without lamps, there'd be no light. <laughs> I can write with my toes. What? I can also eat, brush my teeth with your feet. God. I want to see what Claire can do. Can't do anything. Now everybody can do something. Everyone's got a party trick. There's one thing I can do. Wait, we can all do that, so. We can all do that. That's nothing. That was great, Claire. My image of you is totally blown. <laughs> you fucking prick. <laughs> what do you care what I think anyway? What can you do? Or did your daddy buy those? Shut up! I bet he bought those for you. I bet those were a Christmas gift. Slap him. That'll shut him up. Slap him. Okay, so go home and cry to your daddy. Don't cry here, okay? Maybe you need to smoke some more. My God, are we gonna be like our parents? It's unavoidable. It just happens. Nah. -uh. When you grow up, your heart dies. Your heart dies? I care. Your heart dies? I know it's kind of a weird time, but- Your jumper's on inside out. <laughs> so on Monday, what happens? Not friends anymore. Are we anymore. so friends, you mean? No. You go back to normal. If Ryan came walking up to you in the hall on Monday, what would you do? Yeah, exactly. What if I came up to you? Same exact thing. You are a bitch! Why? Because I'm telling the truth? She is telling the truth. Put your head in the sand and wait for your fucking prom. I hate you! I wonder if come Monday they're all going to walk down the corridor together. Then I assume Alice and I are better people than you guys, huh? Us weirdos. Everyone's crying. Everyone's getting so upset. I don't think the kind of friends I'd have with mine. Yeah, but remember, she's a compulsive liar, so she could be lying right now. I hate it. I hate having to go along with everything my friends say. Yeah, imagine being the most popular kid in school. That would be shit. You know, you just don't understand the pressure that they can put on you. You think I don't understand pressure, Claire? It's a different kind of pressure. Well, f*** you. Whoa. Ew. Whoa. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm here. Because Mr. Ryan found a gun in the locker. A, a gun? Why'd you have a gun in your locker? A real life gun? I can't have an F. Who's he gonna use it on himself? Even if I ace the rest of the semester, I'm still only a B. He was either gonna shoot himself or the teacher that gave him an F. It was a handgun? No, it was a flare gun. A flare gun? A flare gun! <laughs> it's not funny. What the hell would that do to you? <clears throat> that would maybe kill you still. If you put it in your mouth, it would. <laughs> A flare gun, that would that would kill you still, I think. <laughs> <laughs> They've all went from crying and now laughing. So emotional. Teenagers for you. Uh, where's the head teacher guy went? He's gonna come back, isn't he? Like, right. <laughs> right. Damn it, I thought he was gonna come back. Well, it's kind of a waste for all of us to write our paper, don't you think? Oh, well, that's what Vernon wants us to do. How long have you got left? All right. I'll do it. What? He's going to write everyone's? He's going to write everyone's papers? Don't stick that in my eye. I'm not sticking it. Just close it. No, wait a minute. Just close it. Go like that. He's given it. She's given her a makeover. Please. Oh, Why are you being so nice to me? Because she's her friends now. You lost? Oh, wait. I forgot he was supposed to be in there. Wait, did the teacher not know that he was out of there then? This whole time? How many hours have passed? <laughs> I thought the holy hours would have been passed by now. Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Wait, I thought the joke was your boyfriend. Were you really disgusted about what I did with my lipstick? No. <laughs> no. What happened to you? Why? Claire did it. She's got really pretty eyes. Is that good or bad? It's good. It's good. <laughs> oh, she's got a really nice smile. <laughs> See you, Brad. Cool. See you next Saturday. Oh, please don't be the end. I'll be alone. 
dancing, you know it, baby. Oh my god, really? Oh, kisses. Wait, why is it called the Breakfast Club? I don't want it to end. Please don't end. Hey, 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 hey. Is that each one of us is a brain, a princess, and a criminal? Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. Oh, <laughs> but really, they don't know who they are. They're still young. Wow. I love that. That was awesome. I d what, what does a breakfast club mean? Does that have a different meaning? Well, that was just, just, it was just lovely. And I think that's definitely been my favourite out of Ferris Bueller and the vacation one. Because, you know why? You know why? Because it was all in the same place. <laughs> they stayed in that room pretty much the whole time. But they were in the building the whole time and it was it was awesome. And it's just about teenagers and having to like get through that stage in their life that's really hard. Especially when family life makes it even more difficult. I wonder if on Monday they're all going to be friends or they'll all just separate over the weekend and then it'll be back to normal Monday and they'll all pretend that they don't know each other. Apart from the two couples now, or maybe they will, maybe they just had that one kiss and then that's it, they'll be back to normal on Monday. I am seeing a lot of similar, similar, similar similarities between the movies that John Hughes either wrote or directed. They're very, very 80s movies. They're all very bizarre and there's a lot of silliness and there's a lot of dialogue and there's a lot of there's just a lot of i am trying it's the same sameness i don't know what i'm talking about you guys know because you guys are into your movies i am just now getting into movies so i have a lot to learn there's always things like you're like well that would never happen in real life and that's okay because it's a movie. John Hughes is like, yeah, we'll put that in it. And then the whole team's like, yeah, but you can't because that's unrealistic. And he's like, I don't care. The next movie is Planes, Trains and Automobiles. So I can give you my conclusion after watching that one. And it will be thorough. Okay, if you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, and you should have already, then please subscribe. And comment, like, Patreon, post notifications, all that good stuff makes me happy. Remember, if you want to be involved in all this new fun stuff that's happening over on Patreon, then you have to go over there and have a look and see. And that's it for me today. I am off, so... Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.